It's an old, uh, called the Flying Boxcar, it was an old uh, uh, Korean War vintage aircraft and uh, flown uh, mostly to drop cargo to troops in Korea and later on it was used here in the States uh, and by a lot of foreign countries to haul cargo. It's, this replica happens to be about 1-7 scale and it's got a wingspan of about 177 inches, uh, weighs about 94 pounds, and uh, is powered by a couple of twin-cylinder GT-80s, which develop about six, six and a half horsepower each. So it's plenty to fly. Now there was a like special modification to the back. We had that storm come through, and then oh yes, yes, we we had to uh, fill that cargo bay with something and. One of my good Canadian friends had a uh, had a Canadian beaver, so we we strapped a Canadian beaver into the plane and, and gave it a ride. Uh, uh, it didn't seem to mind much. Um, for the next event, what we're going to do is put a parachute on and see if we can't kick him out the door. Kick him out the door. Yeah, yeah. Yes, each year you come up with something different for a big plane. Why? Why was? Why was? Why did you choose this one? Uh, my my friend George Becker uh, decided that this was the plane I should make, <laughs> and I was really kind of out of ideas. Now I notice this flies really scale. Uh, that's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it, it looks really good in the air. Yeah, it, it, it surprised me because the, the, the uh, real one uh, was pretty tough to fly. It, this one has turned out to be a pussycat. It really flies rather well and uh, uh, doesn't have too many bad habits except occasionally the landing gear doesn't come down. Uh, oops. Yeah, oops. But uh, for the most part, it's a pretty easy plane to fly. And it's got uh, this year already probably between 45 and 50 flights on it. So, mm -hmm. so it's pretty wrung out. After a storm like the other night, it literally is wrung out. <laughs> 